What's up? <laughs> Not a good start. How have you guys been doing? I have a lot of footage gathered up from like the past two years. It's really occupying a lot of space on my computer. So what I'm gonna be doing is just kind of recapping what I've been up to for the last year or so, maybe two years, and just letting you know how my life has been like and kind of the start of my music journey. So let's just start from the beginning. In the end of 2020, was it 2020 or 2021? Oh, shit. it was the end of 20. In the end of 2021, I finished my time at university at ACM in Guildford. And after I finished at university, I just wanted to spend some more time working with new artists and kind of focusing on my artist work, really. I did a few shows with this band called White Lakes. We did an F1 show. We played a Silverstone. Thank you so much. And we played at 110 Above Festival, which is like this indie festival. And also I started playing with these artists called Max and Harvey. I did my first kind of major slots at festivals with them. And it was so much fun. And in the beginning, really nerve wracking. I hadn't played any kind of main stage at festivals at this point. It's the kind of dream that you have when you're young, kind of playing to like 20,000 people. The guy on the shoulders, he is literally our drummer. And he's in the middle of the audience because of how much he loves Becky Hill. <laughs> but you know what? It was really really humbling and really cool funny enough like it's something that you don't think about that much but actually playing in front of a bunch of people is way less nerve-wracking than playing to like 20 people that are right up close to you Max and Avi, I was also able to do my first TV appearances and play on TV for the first time. Look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, no. We played at this Nickelodeon festival in Blackpool and it was so sick. We stayed at this hotel that was right next to an amusement park. The weirdest thing ever. You could see like a roller coaster or looking out the window. So we do like two shows uh, back to back and the shows are streamed to TV. It's a live festival, but it's also going up on TV and there's also a compilation video. And also TV rehearsals are super interesting because you kind of see the behind the scenes of how things are going to work out. And there's this big place with like a voice from heaven talking to you. Jordan and Perry enter onto the balcony for this short link. I am the god of your ancestors. It was really, really odd. My battery is about to die. Let me change that. Also with TV shows, we were able to do a CBBC kind of live presentation thing. <laughs> Another artist I started playing with is Jasmine Flowers. She has this kind of R&B, Billie Eilish, pop, synth pop, Rihanna vibe, which I think is so awesome. But I don't chat shit about shit I don't know no shit about. I still lick the floor despite the taste in my mouth. At the end of 2021, we did like some headline shows in London and we did a bunch of support slots. And one of the coolest things we're working with Jasmine is that me and DMD, Ross, had a lot of creative control over the live arrangements. It's just so cool. It's like you're putting like your creative output on a different level. You're not just writing songs, but you're kind of making these arrangements with the artist. It was just really, really different and really cool. Are you ready? Also, at the end of university, I moved house. Big problem moving house for me was that I didn't have the same drum setup that I had. So I had to kind of get creative with creating content and advertising myself. And that led to one of the, the coolest things I think I did, my kit giveaway. I got my first kit for free while I was still in school. And I kind of didn't want to just sell it to someone. I wanted to give it to another person so they could start their music career. And it was such a humbling and wonderful experience. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was incredible. But the reason that I actually got a new kit was because I had a few tours lined up for 2022. So one of the tours that we did was with Jasmine and it was supporting this artist called Dylan. It was interesting because for some of those shows, Jasmine asked me to use a different setup. I used this kind of SPD setup, which consisted mostly of electronics. Yeah. 
but we also did some some live shows with just real acoustic drums which were cool So after that, I did a tour of the guys from Max and Harvey. We went to a bunch of cities in the UK. I got a list, Birmingham, Nottingham, Liverpool, Cardiff, Southampton, Norwich, Sheffield, Newcastle and Glasgow. More recently in 2022, some crazy stuff has happened. I've been on a cruise with the boys from Max and Harvey, which was so crazy. I've always kind of wanted to do the whole cruise thing and finally doing it was just so special, so incredible. Being able to visit new countries, I think we went to like Portugal, France, Canary Islands. Also playing on a ship was really weird. Like when you're playing, your setup is kind of rocking left and right. Hey now, what you gonna say now? You're coming through, but you always got me let down. What can I say when you're in the Heads up for anyone doing cruise stuff. Don't be silly with sun cream. I got burned really badly. And also while experiencing different food options abroad is really sweet and I'm all good for it. It's so expensive. Some of these places are charging insane amounts of prices trying to catch tourists. And funny enough, as soon as I finished my cruise, I had a festival run with Jasmine. We had like four different festivals booked over three days. We did a big festival, which was really sick. And then we did Redden, which is like so crazy. I've always kind of looked up to Reading. I never actually been myself. So actually playing it this year was just so, so special for me. The gig actually went really, really weirdly as well. Like when we got there, we had to wheel all of our equipment from gate to the stage on top of hard cases. And then we discovered we have a five minute changeover. <laughs> but whatever, we set up on stage. It's all fine. A lot of weird things happen with the track. My stick goes flying, my kick drum pedal breaks like the chain just rips the same day we also did woodstock festival and we did leeds festival the day after as well and in leeds we were able to watch like bring me enter shikari pendulum madison beer or, or like watch her from 10 million miles away because there was so big of a crowd. I also started working with new artists in 2022. The singer songwriter called Ewan Mainwood was one of the people that approached me this year. Again, with a really different setup. It was mostly electronic and we did a bunch of festivals and shows around the UK again. And yeah, it was really cool working with him. Also played with this R&B artist called Bethia, which is so, so talented. Her voice is just insane and it was really cool kind of being able to do the whole r&b neo soul kind of arrangements with a bunch of old hits again just kind of expanding my experience with different styles of music and also i revisited the setup i used with you and with this artist called athena which is very kind of hyper pop billy eilish inspired and had a lot of electronic elements on track so i just had some fun kind of expanding on the setup I did with you and Yo, so I noticed I forgot to do an outro for that video. I just wanted to quickly thank everyone that played with me this year. It's been so special playing with different artists and different genres and hopefully even more in 2023. Talking about that, I got a lot of stuff planned for 2023. Hopefully uploading more on my YouTube channel. If you guys want some more constant uploads, definitely check out my Instagram, Luca Bonjolo. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now just give me a sec because I gotta finish editing this and delete 30 gigabytes of footage on my card. So I'll catch up with you guys soon.